Power Conversations. Happy Valentine's go. Day. Aww. It is a beautiful day, even if you feel like it's a terrible day. <laughs> I thought you were going to say a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> because there is so much hope and joy and love in the world. Even though it's hard, I feel like it can it can be a good day. Yeah, it can be. <laughs> and for some people, it's like we say the best day in the world. It's like, oh, day, day, wow. And then for other people, it's like, I hate this day. Can it just be over? Yeah. You avoid stores. You don't go anywhere because everywhere there's like explosion of hearts, balloons, cards, flowers, chocolate. And yeah. you're like, I hate my life. I <laughs> love and romance everywhere. You want to kind of like. I've been there. You've been there. Oh, yeah. We, we know what that's like. Oh, absolutely. I clearly remember Valentine's Days with like you making like a big chocolate heart cake for <laughs> Zach. Remember? And I'm like, hmm, I made a chocolate cake for myself and my dog. <laughs> She's like, I'll go buy a chocolate cake and eat it by myself. <laughs> yes, but you that's know. the reality. And so that's who we want to talk to today on Valentine's Day. Not those of you who are like lovey-dovey, have your plans for tonight. But if you're sitting there and you're feeling like this is a hard day, this is not a day I've been looking forward to. In fact, I just can't wait until it's tomorrow. What can you do to not make this the most miserable day? I think there are things, tips and tricks, as you like to put it, that you can do to not be miserable on Valentine's Day, yeah. to actually have a good time in the status of singleness. Totally. It is Valentine's Day, so you you may be like, okay, I have no plans. Maybe real quick, you can text a few <laughs> friends and you can be like, hey, we don't have to sit around and be miserable. Text your single girlfriends. I mean, there are so many fast food restaurants that are open <laughs> and you don't need a reservation for. <laughs> yeah, like seriously, just go do something fun. Maybe go eat something like, a, maybe you don't normally eat like a big milkshake. Maybe you're like sugar free. <laughs> go do, you know? I mean, half our sisters eat are gluten. <laughs> like not eating sugar right now. So I'm like, give me all the sugar. Um, but anyway, something like that. Like maybe you know two or three girlfriends where you're like, hey, they're single. They're not doing anything. It's Valentine's Day today. Hey, let's go grab us some Chick-fil-A and hang mm -hmm, out. Like, mm -hmm. I think that can be so helpful instead of just sitting at Huge. home and watching a chick flick and feeling like, my life stinks. Yeah. You know, I feel like that's the worst thing you can oh, do. Oh, yeah. I think the worst thing, at least I know back in the day for me, sitting around by yourself, your thoughts just go to those sorrowful places, like those depressed places where you just, all you can think about is what you don't have. Absolutely. And I remember struggling with that and feeling that. And so truly, and I think that's where the enemy often comes in and feeds us those lies. Like, you're not worth anything no one loves you you don't have value if only you were in a relationship yeah. why didn't anyone ask you out and all these lies from the enemy start coming in and so I think the worst thing we can do is just to be by ourselves and kind of sit in those thoughts but yeah. rather get out go be with people because when we're with people it gets us outside of ourselves we're focused on relationships the people right in front of us we're distracted so we're not sitting there thinking about all of these negative thoughts we're thinking about the positive thoughts and the people we have in front of us investing in that and then you might even find yourself laughing totally you might even find yourself having a good time and if you get that huge milkshake like Bethany recommended then you are really going to be nailing it okay this is a really random idea but I'm, I'm good for the random ideas okay and I remember doing this on a couple of Valentine's days Ooh. so you bake some cookies so you can run to the store just buy like the little you know the little like logs that are already made and you can just like mm. cut them up into hearts so like you don't this. even have to really bake them if you don't want to and then all you need is like a brother a sister a friend find one person maybe even by yourself and then you think of those few friends that are maybe single and you actually drive oh. over to their house and then you sneak out mm -hmm. and run leave a beautiful plate of cookies on yeah. their patio ring the doorbell knock on, ring the doorbell <laughs> Knock on the door, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. Ring the door and door. then you try to get away without them knowing who it was. Mm -hmm. So you're leaving like a present, a surprise for someone, and it's so much yes. fun. Like the anticipation, sneaking I up, like kind that. of doing a little sneak, and then leaving and mm -hmm. trying not to get caught. And can you imagine how much joy that would bring to one of your friends oh. that's single, like to find these like, yes, like heart the cookies or whatever? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like someone mm -hmm. thought of them and someone cares about them, and yeah, you get to be that person. And it's just so fun. Yeah. And then go get the milkshake after, you know? Right, and if you hide around the corner to watch their reaction, <laughs> that's even better. Okay, like something that. else, we all come from families. And so if you're in a place where you have a family around you, maybe you're still living at home or you're younger, I think that this is something our parents modeled really well for us True. before we were even, when we were like really young and throughout high school, before we were like really in a serious relationship, they would make Valentine's Day really special for all of us. So That's like true. our mom would give us little like heart cards and candy and special treats. And it was really, really sweet. And so I think we can often view Valentine's Day as only for the people in a romantic relationship. And I know that's what it's centered around, but truly it's a day about love, about yeah. celebrating that. And so who do you love? Who has God put right in front of you? And if you're in a family, take the initiative and be a leader and say like, Hey, let's do some fun Valentine's Day stuff. Maybe you make totally. some hand cards for your siblings. 
for your parents. You buy each of them little candies and you give it to them. And yeah. rather than sitting around whining about what you don't have, you're investing and loving the people that God has put right in front of you. And so often when we pour out and we give and we serve others, it's amazing how we receive so much more satisfaction than even if we got that thing ourselves. Absolutely. So I think just looking at the people in front of you and making it special for them and loving them is totally. huge on Valentine's Day. Y'all, it's huge. huge on Valentine's Day. Okay, last thing and then we'll let you go because you got a lot of work to do now to make this Valentine's Ooh, Day awesome. Epic. Um, well, one quick suggestion. You could take a break after this off social media that might help too because then you're not like uh, scrolling okay wait stuff. say that again because that's important yeah. i think that's a really good thing to you could mention. take a break for the rest of the day you could say hey social media isn't really going to be my best friend today this is not going to make it any easier for me yeah. so maybe i'll just get off instagram get off snapchat get off facebook whatever it is youtube and i'm just not gonna you know get on the socials today the social needs because <laughs> people are gonna be posting all their pictures and not that right. i'm upset or mad i just i want to help my heart and i want to really help my mind go in a good direction mm -hmm. so maybe i'll just take a break that's I think one that's suggestion. awesome. 24 hour social media. Break. Yeah. And then just remembering like it is the day of love, like culturally wise. And so just like, you know, taking some time to remember like who, who is love? Like obviously God is love and his greatest sacrifice ever giving us Jesus so that one day we can spend eternity with him. Like maybe taking a social mm -hmm. media break and spending some time like, Hey, maybe I'll spend some time in the word today. Maybe I'll study like, like first Corinthians 13, which Ooh. talks about love. Maybe I'll read in some, one of the gospels about what Jesus actually did for me. And so you're kind of putting off some stuff that won't be so helpful, like social media and spending some time to actually think about yeah. true, the truest version of love. We don't always sit down and do that. Yeah. So that's huge. And that's something your homework. Else. <laughs> All right. We have another little piece of homework for you because we, we have a free 30 day devotional called reaching yes. beyond myself. And what we're talking about specifically today is this idea of getting outside of ourselves, for looking sure. past what we don't have and thanking God for what we do have, getting outside of ourselves, serving other people, loving other people, focusing on other people in investing in other people. And when we do that, like I said earlier, it's yeah. amazing how much satisfaction and fulfillment God gives us as we love and pour out. So we have a 30 day devotional. It is literally a full blown 30 day devotional that we wrote for free. So we want to give this to it's you. It's not even a half devotional. It's, it's not a even full half. blown devotional. Full blown. I mean, like it's pretty robust. It's, it's really cool. I really love it. And it has four different sections, but you can start it even today. If you're like my heart needs idea. something, I need to reach beyond myself. I need to get outside of myself. Click the link below in the description. You'll see free devotional and that'll take you to a page where you can download it. And I encourage you to even just start that today. Start yeah. it tomorrow. Start digging into that because you will find so much encouragement. And sometimes just having that direction is really helpful for our hearts. And on that happy note, happy love Valentine's you. Day. We love you.